So, what are you doing so far from Gondor? Looking for the Vanishing Sons. They're a mercenary company. Yes, I hired a few of them to look for Numenorian bits. Now I owe their leader a few <clears throat> mercenaries. I've got just the thing to get you to where they are. Just don't tell them where I am. What do I do? Just run off the edge of the cliff. Run off the edge of the cliff? And here, these are the places to poke around for more Numenorian goodies. Go on then. I've used this thing myself. Not a bump or a scratch. Sport lads. Handle this bit of kit carefully. Enemies who stood against Numenorian weapons didn't stand for long. And the ones who survived the first cut quickly came to wish they hadn't. Poison tends to bring that out in people. That and their guts as they puke themselves to death. The soldiers of this ancient empire wielded the mightiest blades, the most powerful bows. But, as in most things, they weren't satisfied there. They devised clever ways to burn their enemies, to terrify and sow chaos among them. Any craftsman pours his strength and wit into his creations. To that, the Numenorians added madness. Oh! And fire. The new Minorian set their minds to making a man fly. But when they figured out a device that could do it, they decided they weren't impressed enough with themselves. So they set about improving on it. How could a people who soar like birds fall so far that there's hardly any trace of them left?
the Numenorians knew defense meant more than cowering behind some bulwark. While the enemy's trying to wear your strength down, you've got to build it up. No idea how this works. It has to do with the storing and unleashing energy or something. Just mind you stay on the right side of it. It's an age-old quandary in battle. How'd you close the distance to your enemy? Well, the Numenorians, true to form, solved this problem with a novel approach. Instead of making your way to your opponent, bring him to you, and then smack him. Goes without saying. Just as important as strength are stealth and speed. If you're invisible, there's no defense. If you're silent, there's no call for help. Reckon no one mastered this better than the Numenorians. No one's seen or heard them in ages. So we go up to that arch for some dwarf hunting. Countering enemies is great. What's even better is stopping them dead. And I do mean dead. The new Minorians knew that by using your opponent's momentum against him, you turn his opening strike into your killing blow. When the Numenorean's doom finally came, their fires were soon extinguished. Something to do with the flood, I believe. Well, I don't see any water out here. 
So let's see how hot we can make this thing burn. The idea with this is it incinerates your enemies at the same time you're knocking them back. My kind of idea. Numenorians possessed wisdom far superior to any we have today. Shame that in the end it wasn't enough to save them. But it does fascinate me how they created a device to aid in climbing and later upgraded it to knock loads of people down. If it were me, I'd have done it the other way round. Gonna need some more fire. Aha! Let's see what you have. Don't let that fall into the wrong hands. <laughs> <laughs> 